Hey guys, I'm Russell Vane, and welcome just back to another very long time series, I would say. A uh, series that I keep freaking holding off until then. Uh, I promised myself in the previous episode that I was gonna go and sort of like, I guess like, practice, uh, not practice, but like, grind a little bit of levels up. And so, yeah, I finally managed to do a little bit of it. Um, I didn't want to go too far into it because I wasn't really like, giving myself too, too much time, and I didn't want to go too hard into it, so yeah. Managed to pull off Eren, Auron, and uh, Lulu, and Titus, and Yuna, um, to a bit of a severe levels. But instead, I also did the Aeons with the sort of, like, overdrive stuff. Yeah, so I, I, the previous time when I fought against Seymour in the previous episode, I didn't manage to get any overdrive into any of the, the Aeons except for Bahamut, I think, and everybody else was just pretty much on the down low for that uh but yeah we're gonna go and power this through a little bit so we're gonna move a little bit of these things here through and then yeah um do apology do to apologize if i end up having to um have the thing spaz out like there's some stuff that ended up spazzing out because my ps3 controller has actually gone to like a really bad spot um so now I have to like be careful because the controller is a little bit wonky now at this point, unfortunately. But anyways, um, let's go and power up Titus's things. Uh, I guess he can move four, so I'm wondering if I wanted to do a level three unlock here because I think it'd be valuable because it unlocks some of the stuff that Auron didn't get earlier and same goes for other things, I guess. Yes, use, what is this ability again? Sentil? Sen Sentinel? I, uh, sure, I guess. I don't think I have a level, I do have it. Okay, I got one here. I just don't have a level four, uh, thing though, unfortunately. Yes. Yeah, so I don't have a level four thing, but it's like, whatever it is, is whatever. Plus, this also gives us a chance to get to this side, so, uh, and yeah, Titus can go up to here, I guess, for magic. I guess. Let's go Lulu for this one, I believe. Yes. Uh, I should probably move one more so I can get this. Yes. And then... Not the level 3, but the ability sphere for the... Holy, yes. I do need the holy for other stuff. Speed sphere for evasion. That would be nice. I don't know if I want to open this up because it brings Lulu over to Riku. And Riku isn't... Primarily the wheelhouse that I would want re uh, that, that I would want Lulu in because it's kind of a weird place on this <laughs> for that um, But I wouldn't mind pushing it all the way back up to some other spots to make it easier for me Like this one has like reflect and dispel But I think it's all the way up here And this is like Yuna's wheelhouse basically that I missed out on I think when I last saw it I'm thinking about going back up here just for that specifically, but we'll have to We'll have to just see if I want to push that forward, or if I want to push Lulu into Riku's sphere of, like... Sort of like her sphere circle of stuff. But I don't think I can reach back easily here. Uh, move. Yeah, I can't move very far off. And Yuna is not far behind <laughs> on terms of where she's at, either. Yeah, because it's it seems like Yuna would be, like, far off there, or, like, way behind over there. I don't know if I want to do it though. It's just like if I push, if I push Lulu into level three, she becomes. I mean, she becomes faster in that case, but then she doesn't have. Yeah, the Riku doesn't have a lot that's interesting to it. But uh, let's skip to Orin for a bit. Let me because I want to get Orin a little bit further in a little bit. Yes, so I can use the Speed Sphere on that to give his evasion uh, and then move him forward again. Right over there. Yeah, I'm not using my left analog stick because it's apparently broken in a way that's like, if I do choose to, uh, if I do choose to use it, it's gonna <laughs> throw it out of whack and it's gonna start spazzing out on, like, or not spaz, but like, uh, it would just, like, go, like, insanely weird. Like, it just tries to go back and forth and it just goes, in, it has a mind of its own, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but it's like, yeah, I don't know. It was just like really crazy and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, 
I think that should be good for Auron. I think Lulu is the hard one to decide because I feel like she's just having a lot more complexity to it that I don't know where to push her for forward to because she's already done most of her side, I think. She just needs a little bit of oomph for the heals. Um, like a little bit more power to like your healing. I think this is Titus's thing? Or is that, uh... I think blue was Kamari's, I think. I think it's Kamari. I can't remember names nowadays. Uh... Yeah, it's really difficult to figure out what would be a good push. No, actually dark blue is Kamari, I think. And then Titus is the lighter blue, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Riku's abilities would be nice for uh, Titus, mostly, I think. But it's not good for uh, it's not good for any other person, I would say, in terms of what I want to build Titus on. Like, I would want to push Titus on this skill tree, but it's like it's going to be nearly impossible for how far it gets or how far he is from that uh, that sort of like skill tree level stuff. All right, I'm gonna move use. The thing anyways i don't like it but i have to or i want to because i because unlocking this will unlock it for other characters to go through the space same for riku and riku can kind of like go towards yuna's circle and lulu circle because it's much more faster and easier to get there but the problem is like where do i push it do i push it here i guess and then get some of the magic stuff and defense maybe I don't know, what else does she have over there? Level 3, level 4. There's a lot of level 4 and 3 stuff, though. Yeah, I'll use it for the key sphere. I guess I'll just whatever with it, I guess. It's not the greatest, but it's whatever it is. Here, yes. And use the monosphere for the magic, because that magic would be very useful in case of... Uh, the magic would be used in a way to help get... Lulu to be a bit more stronger in her abilities to do things. If I move down, I get defense. If I move up, I get nothing. And it'll take a while just to get towards the other one. Accuracy would be up there, so I don't know if I want accuracy. Accuracy, I don't know. I don't know if accuracy ties towards, like, magic usage, but I'd rather not risk it, so I'd rather just go for defense and just give Lulu a bit more defense on her end there. Alright, cool. So everything has been set up, so we are good to start fighting Seymour again. So we're going to do a round two against Seymour. Um, in this case, I will be saving on a new save because I am pretty much starting from a new episode. Um, but yeah, it's been a long while. I do apologize. I wanted to finish the series for like <laughs> the longest time, but I just never had the chance to do it because I ran out of time. Of time. I'm going to skip a lot of the cutscene here because I've already dealt with the stuff here, I believe. Or whatever cutscenes I got will be seen from the last episode. I'm not going to bother with it from the last episode. So if you guys have not seen the last episode, check that out. Because that's where the opening cinematics for this piece is at, I believe. So, Oh, I forgot that pauses it. I don't even know how to skip anymore. <laughs> Go. Yeah, because I've already been through this once. I don't want to go through this twice, uh, and I want to. I want to push the episode to be more towards just the fight, for the most part. What is this? Oh, the prison ball. I forget what this was. Was this like sort of like collecting stuff? I guess. Oh, that hurts me. Oops. And that makes me fight. <laughs> oh, I forgot these things actually are weird. Oh my god. This is the worst. I was not anticipating this, and I messed up because I didn't mean to do that. Is it gonna kill me fast, I guess? Yeah, it could kill me pretty fast. But it has a considerable considerable amount of, like, health, I guess. Uh, actually, no, I want to- oh yeah, double caster. Yeah, I was confused for a sec. I don't want to do flare. Fire gun? doesn't have any weaknesses in terms of, like, what magic ability yet, so... I know Titus might die, so we have to be careful here, because it could just target Titus and, like, one-shot kill him, because how much damage he puts in is a lot more heavier than I anticipated. Uh, sure. Ooh. I hate that there's a limit, though. 
It kind of sucks that there's a limit to... Oh, dang it! I keep doing that! Jeez. I gotta stop doing that. I guess, because if I do that, I lose an opportunity to, like, give Lulu a chance to, like, survive that fight. Which is totally not what I want, and there's a sphere level up. Okay, cool. Um... I don't know what I'm looking for still. I'm looking for prison balls, I guess? I can't even see anything because it's ridiculous. Uh, sphere grids. I'm gonna try to heal them up too as well. I need to do that. Uh, where are we at? Yeah, let's move over here for a little bit. Yeah, it's interesting that they've leveled up here. Yes. More defense magic. That's fine. Move up one. Yes, use it for accuracy, which would be nice right now. Yes, uh, let's use items, I guess. I don't want to use, uh... yeah, I don't want to waste Yuna's mana, I guess. I don't know if I want to worry about the mana yet. I'm still not sure entirely yet if that, that matters or not, because I'm still not strategically thinking about it. I'm just doing a thing. Alright, where would I need to be? I can't see where I'm at for stuff I need to find. Because this is not helping me at all whatsoever. Yeah, because the moving camera is just like... What the heck's going on kind of situation. There it is. I need to find these bowls. Wait, what? I have to press X, don't I? I have to, like, accept that I picked it up, I guess? Oh, jeez, that was crazy. This is the worst because I don't remember... I, I guess I forgot all about this sequence. <laughs> And I forget that this is a pain in the butt if, if I'm not careful, because I could die in this space and then start over again where I was at earlier. Uh, where I last saved. Which kind of sucks a little bit, but not much. Oh, sheesh. And then once we get to- when we get to Seymour, I think I want to try and get, uh... Where is the- the prism? I'm still not sure where the prism landed. Oh, there it is. No, ah, oh, sheesh. Okay, over there. No, why does it disappear so quickly, though? Why? Do I need to... Is there a significance of collecting this, like, quickly or something? I'm kind of curious about that. And I can't see because it's like, the game is choosing not to let me, like, get the thing. Still blade, okay. Oh, I see, so it is just giving me random ones, random stuff here. Gale Sphere, I'll take that. Oh wait, the skill sphere give me like, is that good for like, uh, I think it was good for like, stuff that is in my, um, in the em empty slots for the, no, come on, I was just walking over and it had collision, I thought. Ugh. I mean, that's nice, but the risk is high, though. Matt, major staff, good for selling, I'll take. Sheesh, five items already, oh, there's one. Infinity? What is Infinity? Is that a weapon's name, I guess? It sounds like a weapon's name. A nice weapon's name, I guess. I can't see where the heck... Oh, there this one. Ooh, white magic sphere. Okay, so there is... I think it is, supposedly, takes you to the closest ability for the white magic stuff, I think. That's why, uh... That wa that's why Lulu's in Unisphere pretty fast, I think. Oh jeez, this is the worst. Get me out of here, please. Let me go, dang it. Oh, there's one. Hurunting? What's a hurunting? That's a weird name for something. Like that. Oh, come on, seriously? I was... Uh, no, I'm... I, I, I just... No, not that. <laughs> I haven't been able to remember how to fight these things very clearly, but I'm gonna run. Go so I'm not gonna waste time. my time getting petrified and then dying to those things again, because I remember dying a lot to those things, and I don't like them. Come on, there we go. Attribute sphere, I'll take it. What? Oh, okay. He just fell randomly without no, without any reason. <laughs> that was hilarious. But I do think we got a lot of good stuff, I think, out of that. I just hate that we can't save until we finish fighting against Seymour. Uh, a lot of those spheres will come in handy if not for... Uh, if not for Seymour to get in the way. 
Okay, I should be able to skip this, I hope. Can't pause and skip. Oh, we, uh, we're fighting Jet. Not Seymour. I, I think I, I'm mistaken that it was Seymour we're fighting, but we're not fighting Seymour. We're fighting Jet. Yes, that's what it is. I think I'm mistaken it because we fought Seymour so many times that I just forget that we're not fighting Seymour. And this is what I'm talking about with the controls. <laughs> ah, my left analog stick is ridiculous. There we go. It's fixed uh, for a second, at least. Let's do some stuff here, I guess. I mean, we can use the spheres we picked up. Skill sphere. Attribute sphere. Wait, is this like... Activates attribute node already used by a, an ally. Oh, okay. So we use this as a freebie for activating an attribute. And then activates a white magic node. Activates a skill node used by an ally. I think the skill thing I would want is from Auron. So you can kind of be able to... No, not extract mana. Not dark attack. What was the what was the ability again? Was it like scan, right? I want to see scan. That's slow ago. That's magic related. Did Oren already get scan? I'm just not sure because I haven't been pl I haven't played in a while, so I might have forgotten if scan was supposedly something that Oren already took when he went into. Uh, <clears throat> when he pop popped into, that's provoke. When he popped into Titus's skill tree. Cheer. Extract speed. Haste. Yeah, because I know we got scan from Titus. I'm pretty certain scan was part of the stuff that Titus had to learn. Ultima. That's a black magic, I think, so it's not white magic. It wouldn't be. Uh, This is difficult because I can't figure out. I know Provoke, Cheer, and Flea were related to, uh, to Titus in his own right. I might get luck, though. I realize there's luck in here that's really interesting to me. Sentil? Sentinel? Sentinel? Yeah, there's nothing here that tells me much. Actually, no, let me see if Titus got his ability... No, not this way, this way. No, he didn't get scanned from anything. I think... Yeah, it's... I think scan is based on his weapon, rather. Okay, never mind then. I thought scan was automatically placed on Titus all this time, and I was just like, oh, okay, well, we're not gonna worry about it. Um, but, yeah. Let's give Arn, yeah, let's give Arn the skill sphere for one of these things then. Maybe extract mana or skill buster maybe? Mog. Quick hit. Delay buster. I'm thinking delay buster would be nice because it gives Arn an excuse to delay enemies in this scenario. But I don't know. White magic... Definitely gonna give that to Lulu for sure. Lulu definitely is would be the one that I would want to give that to, you know, because I think giving Lulu the white magic stuff would be nice. Shell and protect. Hastika, Sloga. No, I don't want that. I don't think these abilities are nice for her to use. I think. Kira. No shock, Asana, cure, life. Oh, that would be so nice right now. Okay, I'll take life. I actually want to give Lulu life because I think Lulu would definitely be nice to have for that one. Attribute. I want to give... Oh, do I want to give Titus luck? Because it unlocks the luck for him, but then... <clears throat> Actually, no, it's not unlock luck. It was gonna. It has to be somebody who already owns it. So maybe it's best to give Auron the attribute node, but it would be something on luck. Yeah, 
Yeah, either luck or speed. Or strength. <laughs> Ooh. Mmm. But then he's already so strong at this point that I don't think it matters because the, there's a ceiling that we can only hit. Like, there's literally nothing we can do besides hit a ceiling, which kind of sucks. But giving Oran some health, maybe, I would say. Or agility would be interesting. Yeah, because Oran's already at, like, top-notch strength. I don't think it matters no matter what I give him because it's not going to work out that way. Maybe accuracy? I think accuracy would be nice for him. So then he can never miss. Uh, even if there was like some sort of bullcrap stuff. Luck. There we go. Luck would be nice because he would be able to hit crits, I'm assuming, from that. But then I don't know if luck has any, any other like related matters to it. Sheesh. Or defense. Or evasion. I would say defense would be nice. Just kind of just like to avoid getting hit too hard on him. And he would be like the tank, the, the pure tank that we need. <laughs> like, the ultimate tank we need. You know what, screw it. I'm gonna give him tank. I'm gonna give him the defense, because I think defense is where Arn is missing out on some stuff. Yeah, he has a lot of strength, but he doesn't have as much defense as, like, some other characters maybe. So it would be nice to give it to him there. Uh, I think white magic has already been used. I need skill for something, I guess. I don't know. Mental break, armor break, sleep buster, hmm, silence buster, hmm, dark buster. I want to get sleep buster. Yeah, let's go sleep buster. I think Waka's abilities was going to eventually reach Titus's stuff, but doing that will save me a little bit of time. Alrighty, I can't save, so I'm gonna have to just go with the fight here against Jet. Uh, I don't know if you can even... I don't think you can skip these cutscenes. I remember we can't skip, I think. If I last... If I last recalled it being... Yeah, I can't skip it. Ugh. Yeah, I can't skip it. If I pause it, it wasn't... It wasn't gonna matter anyways. Alright. Well, I'll wait till the cutscene plays out anyways. Unfortunately. I'm still curious how Jet really feels about, like, having to fight his kid. I mean, Jet has a little bit of negligence well, in his mind, but he knows Let's that he go. can't do anything about it. Alrighty. Falling into some kind of sin sphere, I guess, just to power himself up to fight. It makes no sense, though, that he was willing to just, like, no! sacrifice himself to, the, to sin just so he can turn into whatever. Alright, here we go. Let's fight. Again. Round two. I'm hoping this time we will beat it. Uh, because I'm really, like, I wasn't really a fan of the fact that I had to keep fighting again. But I wanted to, like, beat this up already because it's been, like, so long. It's been, like, I think almost a year now at this point, And it sucks. Because it's, like, I wanted to finish it a year ago. And now it's, like, I'm not, like, so sure why I took so much time just to get to this point. But hopefully we'll get it. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll get it. He does look badass, though. Jet's design for this is so freaking badass due to the fact that he looks like a monster, <laughs> like a true monster in this case. And it's fascinating to see that he kept this design this will be quick. character. Hit me with all you got, Dad. Yeah, he kept this design of his character. Wait, is Yuna just auto-swapped into our party? Yeah, she is. She auto-swapped into it. <laughs> I was like... Huh, I'm, I'm wondering if I should just summon her out and stuff, but she auto-swapped into it. Okay, cool. Then let's just start summoning some stuff, getting all that, like, ridiculousness out of the way. I don't know how much health, I didn't pay attention, unfortunately. I wasn't looking at it uh, at first, so I should probably be careful, because I don't know what the health amount is. And I don't think some of the, I don't think any of the aliens, or maybe none of them might have scan, but not everyone. 
to help me determine how much health the uh, enemy has. Though I might have to switch Yuna out later for Lulu because she needs to... Lulu is going to have a lot more. 60,000? What's the other? 5,000? This is going to be incredibly difficult, I think. Mega Flare, let's go. Let's do it. Because the other thing, the other problem right now is that, uh, that Jet has, actually has a, I believe Jet has extra overdrive, so he can kind of just lay out problems for me that I don't want to deal with, but it's like, it's like a unit as best we can, I guess. 26, so that's a third, I think, so far. Only about a third of my health as well, but he's gonna attack twice because he's able to do that, I guess. Attack three times? How unfair is that? And the right one moves again. Wow, not a single bit of, like, chance to move. Can I move now, please? Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. I want to actually survive. Please let Muhammad survive. I want to, like... Do the last overdrive, please give me overdrive, give me overdrive, give me overdrive. No! Oh wait, no, is it healing him only? I think it's just giving him health. Yeah, they're just charging Jet up for whatever reason. Let me please... No! Uh, it's gonna kill him, yeah. That's the unfortunate thing, is that they don't let you do it unless you... Uh, unless you have enough people in the field to do it. So well, let's do the overdrive for the other characters. It sucks because Bahamut didn't get his second overdrive. That... Uh, could have been swordplay, talk. There's no use talking though. Like, damage all enemies, I guess. Yeah, that's that's the sucky part. It's just I can't. I need to use my skill. No, my magic. Like, I want to haste to go everywhere. And give Yuna a chance to get the speed she needs to summon quickly. Because there's no point in, in helping out. Uh, there's no point in, like, dealing with. Uh... Let's do Shiva. There's no point in talking to Jet, I don't think. Unless that is really, like, important somehow. I don't see it being as important because I think you waste your turn in a way that's, like, saying. No, you're not going to get a chance to attack, you're just going to lose out on this. But I don't think that Jet has any, any reasoning on himself, I guess. But I might be wrong, I, I don't know because it's hard to see it being that right now, so... Let's do Diamond Dust, let's go! I'm just worried that by the time he hits Overdrive, we won't have a chance to attack. At all whatsoever. So that's what I'm worried about, is that we won't get a chance to, like... Do anything against Jet when uh, when his overdrive kicks up to the max. <laughs> oh baby, come on, let's just, just destroy it. Nine thousand, jeez. Bahamut hit harder than that, like literally twenty k, <laughs> which is incredible because I didn't think that it would be hitting twenty k at all whatsoever. But whatever, I guess. Oh man, he's about to hit full full charge here, so I'm so scared. And he heals from it too, so it's like 30,000 or 3,000 at least. He's hit overdrive, what is he gonna do again? I can't remember. It's been a long while. Bomber, okay. Wow, is it an insta kill, I guess? Yeah, it just meant to be an insta kill for me. Uh, I'm hoping that I still got a turn, but it looks like he didn't give us a turn at all. Okay, so I think it'd be nice to talk, I guess. Okay, so he's just shouting out like, "Dead! Hey, wait! We're, we're, we're still your 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 someone here." Okay, let's summon the next person. I have to sacrifice all my aeons. At the end, like always. I really dislike that this is the strategy I'm dead. I mean, I know there's some secret side stuff that I haven't attended to yet, like, uh, like getting some certain unlocks and stuff, but that's because I haven't, I didn't want to spend too much time going for another, like, 
thing that might take a while just to get. Like, I remember the Swordsman, the Samurai Aeon, that we don't have yet, but has. We did visit his tomb, but we couldn't access it because you had to beat him in a fight. So I don't have that access yet to him. If I, if I want it, I need to go there and fight the Samurai Aeon that we saw, like, many, many episodes ago. But I don't think I'm willing to <laughs> spend so much time grinding again just to see if we can get him to, to unlock for us, I guess. 9,900. Really? It's just ridiculous. And he heals again. 1500, and then another 1500. I just need to make sure that when he hits overdrive, max overdrive, it's not when my Aeon is dead. That's the only thing I need to worry about. Is that it needs to hit only the Aeons. How does his voice seems to affect Jet? Jet's power decreases. Oh, interesting. So that talk really did help. I thought it was not gonna help right now. Okay, another heal. I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to think of what, uh, what, I'm trying to think what the heck it is that I want to say about this part. There's something to it I think that, please, oh, come on, this heal is so ridiculous. Seems like all that 9,999 on, on the Ixion is pretty much going to waste this anyway, because it's going to heal twice. Yeah, it looks like it's perfectly good times to the point where I'm gonna get killed <laughs> if we go back to our normal play of like characters. Yeah, because they're not gonna let me have any. Ooh. Okay, we're back to human again. Back to the people again. Again, thankfully we got overdrive, but it's still we're still stuck in the last one third of the health of Jet. Oh god, it's still healing him. Why are we still healing him? And he has Overdrive 2 now. Aw, oh, that's bad timing then. <laughs> yep, it's Overdrive time. Here we go. I can only talk to him. I'll talk to him. I'll try. Dad, please don't kill me. Oh, I see. So it's just giving him power tap and this stuff. But he can, he can toss out that bomber any time at this point. It's just scary. Summon. Uh, if not, let's go. I need to toss out that 9,999 damage to make sure that those things can stop like, being prepped. But it also means that uh, the bomber that uh, Jet can throw off will kill if it needs to kill, which kind of sucks a little bit. But it's what it is, I guess. Man, this is really scary. Nerve wracking, very scary. Let's go for it, I guess. If you kill the- if you destroy those rocks, those stones, I'm kind of curious how much, uh, like, would he lose all the overdrive, or would it just be like, Jet just being whatever he's going to I guess. I don't know too much about it, because we haven't seen that strategy yet, like what happens if those rocks deactivate. Oh, okay, I guess that's my answer, is that he gets weak, that's it. <laughs> But then they come back in like literally one turn. That kind of sucks. Osmosis. Oh, okay. I didn't really need the MP anyways. I didn't need magic. At least it prevented him from healing, I guess. That's the one thing I think that happened that worked out the best in that scenario. That 9,999 damage did not go back up. Like, we didn't lose progress with that. Uh, now he's healing again, yeah. So we lost a chunk of that. But we're at least under the one third mark at the moment. Oh no, it's not the boss. It says Mon B, so that means one of the rocks is gonna try to kill him again. Yeah, one of the rocks is gonna try to kill him again, so... That's what that is, I guess. Which is fine, I guess. Uh... Talk. We're like one. We're like ten thousand away. We're like ten thousand health away from defeating Jet. <laughs> oh my god! I need to like overdrive everybody else. But what happens if Yuna loses out on 
her last AM. Does that mean that the that her overdrive is useless then? I'm kind of curious because I know her overdrive relates to summon. So without the summon, what would happen then? You know? Energy ray, let's go. It sucks that I can't really do anything much about what I can do, but we'll try getting this one out. That should get it very close to death, I think. Because it's 10,000 left, right? So it should be enough to... Yeah, and the healing will give him a little bit more juice with Inf, and then he'll just like overdrive it, which kind of scares me a little bit. Heal again, please. Okay, good. I'd rather prefer him using the Bomber on Galafor than to use it on our group. That's the only thing I would want out of that. Out of this fight right here. Or out of this section. There we go. He's using his overdrive. Because that's an insta-kill for anyone. I do think. And I'd rather take that than uh, take it on my my three party members at the moment. Uh, this is not a great scene, but we'll see. We got Oron, Bushido. I guess we can do Fang. Dragon Fang, I guess. Let's do it, I guess. Oh god. There we go. Whew, that was barely making it. Okay, we got the nine. Wait, what? They only attacked one of them. They didn't attack all of them. We beat him? Because that was his last health, I think. Please, please, no more. I don't wanna I don't wanna fight a phase two. I don't want phase two, please, no phase two. Oh, there is a phase two, isn't it? Oh, I hate this so much. There's a phase two, why? I used up all my fights in the beginning of that fight. Just to realize there's a phase two, for Christ's sake. Ugh. Oh, and he's now up to 120k. What is this? How are we supposed to handle this? All enemies, please. There we go, I got it. I accidentally pressed too many times. I'm wondering how much... Yeah, it doesn't seem to like he deals any damage to the rocks, though. Is he gonna heal him more than 15 again? No, it's gonna heal him 15 anyways. Shoot. This is gonna be bad. Yeah, this is bad, because I, I, I was in preparation of just clearing out first phase, and I wasn't thinking there was a second phase anymore. Yeah, none of them are alive anymore, so I can't grand summon anyone whatsoever. Oh, I can't even summon anyone at all. It's all allies, and black magic, I don't know. This kind of sucks, I guess. Oh, it's gonna be a hard freaking walk down the road. Like, I have to, like, destroy these rocks. Okay, I guess. I do think that everyone's still in haste. They haven't really changed much. And this, this time is the boss hitting us now. Oh. Uh, this is bad. Here we go. We're gonna get hurt really hard. Oh, yeah. Yuna's dead. Yeah, Yuna's not, uh, Yuna's not built to survive that fight. Because I haven't really trained Yuna as much, really. I need to swap out Yuna somehow. But I don't think I can at this point, unfortunately. And Titus is almost dead, too, so that makes it worse. Oh, gosh. Not escape, but, like, how do we switch character again? Can I not switch characters here? Really? Uh, this is bad because I can't switch characters then, and that's the case. Uh, I, will... I don't want to use it. I really don't, but I have to. Phoenix down freaking here, I guess, and then see if we can heal her. I don't think we can heal her though, because she's going to die in an instant once he swings that sword again. Yeah, and then Titus is dead with Oh, jeez, dude. And then 
he has all the overdrive ready to go, and Auron's the only one left on the field, so... This might be another failed attempt at beating Jet again. Freaking Jet. Why is it so impossible just to, like, have this fight? Hmm. Yeah, I need to, like, do something. I can't revive everybody this in this. You know, let's revive as much of everybody we can, I guess. I don't think we can on Auron. Triumphant Grasp. What? Why? At least it's a one one hit, but like, why <laughs> was he the only one? Okay, I think we need to white magic piece to get us. Yeah, we need to haste to get up this stuff, and I'll give life to. Uh, I'm gonna use units to just give life to Horn. I think we're just barely playing it by the Neo. Like we're just not getting as much back enough to to handle this. It's just not a great idea. I only have a few Mega Phoenix, which is not great either, because that means that. It might all go down to this fight, and that's gonna suck like hell, no, and I don't want that. But, like, I have no better chance or opportunity left here. Life. Yes, hold on, please. Give on a health life thing. You can survive one hit at least, but I don't know if that's gonna be a good idea still. Yeah, Yuna keeps dying. I don't like this. And he gets to strike twice. Why? Oh, there we go. That's the end of it. Damn it. I hate this stupid thing. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh, why? Why is that even a thing of a fight? Okay, we saved over this. Yes. Ugh. Okay, well... There goes another attempt of a fight against Jet again. What do I want to do now? Alright, I'm gonna... I'm thinking about what I want to do next here. Okay, my next step I'll probably do is to probably put more levels into Yuna for now. Probably try to farm up some spheres so I can give the Aeon some chances to survive maybe. Um, I don't know yet if there's any other better opportunity or a better thinking of the strategy so far i want to do more than that but unfortunately i can't do any more than that i guess for the time being but yeah i guess i'll come back again which i really hate uh this has happened before i think once or twice uh where i have to take a break from this <laughs> just to give myself more levels and stuff but this is getting more and more ridiculous where I have to grind and farm for stuff that I just don't like it, but it's just like, I have no choice. And even if I walk off from this place, I need to like walk through this place back again, so that really won't help. But anyways, that's it for this episode. I will see you guys again, hopefully, and uh, I'll cut forward to the part where Jet starts fighting us, where he falls down and thing, and then uh, We'll see what happens then, I guess. I will probably... Actually, no, I want to still show you guys the... Uh, me putting into the Sphere Grid and also putting in the Aeon upgrade stuff. Because there is some Aeon upgrades we can do in this capacity, I think. Aeon's uh, attributes, I think. Valifor. Yeah, so like we could just put in Spheres and stuff. I'm wondering if we can buy Spheres. And then we can put in some like really heavy, heavy things to help them get this stuff because i think the defense right now it's at, at a i think some of these guys have terrible defense or that they just don't have enough strength or health to like manage themselves or that jet's just too powerful and stuff that we just haven't put in enough stuff yeah because the power sphere is a lot it takes a lot of out of them to get their increase i think to raise their max health uh but otherwise, I think that that's the hard part, is just trying to give them more health, because they are insta-killed every single time. Or, to increase their speed down here? No. Agility, yeah. Like, increase their agility just to literally, like, get them to be, the like, faster than Jet. Because I think right now, the abilities, or the, the agility for everybody is at a 
at a pretty low pace. Shiva's barely at the 52, and I'd rather want them to have... I want their agility to be higher so they don't have to worry about being delayed or slow from the fight against Jet, so maybe that might help push the boundary a little longer. I don't know yet. We'll see. I'll try my best to figure it out, um, and or figure out a good strategy to survive the next fight in the next episode, so then we can finally finish this gosh darn fight because I don't want to keep fighting the same thing over and over again. I mean, I know that the Final Fantasy X's ending parts are the more harder ones to beat because you have to actually be very accurate or very like specific on how to beat it, and I kind of just like games that do that a lot, is like you don't get an opportunity to try and beat them uh, without having to sacrifice so much in the first fight and then stuff. Maybe my next strategy is to probably fight, uh, fight Jet with the three characters up front, and then when we get to the second half, then we would bring out Muhammad and Shiva and Ixion, Ifrit, so on and so forth. Bring out the Aeons at the last half, because that will tear the chunk out of the whole fight there. Maybe? I mean... I'm trying to think. 60,000 60, was a easy number to handle with Ifrit or Bahamut, uh, just blasting through with overkill. Um, over, not overkill, the uh, overdrive. But otherwise, I think that without that overdrive being at the 120,000, uh, things would not be easier then. But who knows? Anyways, again, next episode, we'll see what happens. I'm going to figure it out and hopefully figure out a good strategy to hopefully get through this fight as soon as possible. So, other than that, Roz, out.